Hello everyone, back to our latest Star Wars video. So we've got new information from NathanStarWars.net about uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. There could be another comeback for an important character. Uh, this is going to contain spoilers. This video will contain spoilers for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So if you don't want to know uh, who could be coming back, who probably is coming back, uh, then... Just turn the video off right now. Don't watch any more. Uh, I'll give you another spoiler warning just before uh, we get to the critical point uh, as well. But this is really spoilerish. So um, if you don't want to be spoiled for the Rise of Skywalker, then don't watch the video. This surface a couple of days ago at uh, MakingStarWars.net. I've been very busy uh, with uh, my day job, which on YouTube is um, weather content. I've got another uh, YouTube channel that uh, has uh, weather videos, weather forecasts on it. Uh, it's been a really busy time over the Easter weekend, so that's why I've been away for a few days. So uh, apologies for not uploading any new content um, to the channel. But we'll go over this story uh, very shortly. Just say that we are trying to build this channel channel up uh, with Star Wars content, so uh, please like, share and subscribe if you are enjoying the Star Wars videos on this channel. Let us know through the comments uh, what you think. Right, so we're on uh, makingstarwars.net. You can leave a link to this in the description at YouTube. Uh, the headline, spoilers, Palpatine's return isn't the only huge character comeback in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And then they give a spoiler warning uh, just there where they say, please do not openly share the contents of this article on so social media and spoil anyone that does not wish to be spoiled. Everyone has a different view regarding what constitutes a spoiler. Be cool and be careful. Please do not implicate me. That's Jason Ward, uh, author of the um, piece. Please do not implicate me in your online social faux pas. Uh, so, again, just to say before we go any further with this, uh, there is going to be spoilers in this piece. So, if you don't want to be spoiled for Star Rise of Skywalker, turn the video off right now. Uh, spoiler alert. Okay, for those of you who do want to know uh, who is coming back in the Rise of Skywalker, here we go. So they say, Happy Easter, and in a way, kind of fitting. This was uh, written on Megasiles.net on Easter Sunday, I think. Uh, the last 24 hours have been pretty exciting and crazy. I was at a, I, I was at a reading uh, late last night in Los Angeles, and a chance encounter allowed me to see evidence that Harrison Ford filmed a sequence for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Harrison Ford appears to be in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker in a newly filmed moment with Adam Driver. I immediately began digging deeper and I was able to pull out a few disparate facts about the sequence in which Harrison Ford returns as Han Solo. Sequence fragments. The disparate facts from several making Star Wars.net sources who have admitted Harrison Ford is in Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. The main sequence takes place between Adam Driver and Harrison Ford, or Kylo Ren and Han Solo. One source called it a surprise intervention of sorts. A source that did not work on or see the sequence believes it takes place when Kylo Ren asks the bird Darth Vader helmet to show him at the darkness again. Luke Skywalker appears to be the twist in the encounter. The source was paraphrasing, but Han Solo tells Ben Solo uh, it isn't too late and the sequence has a tone of forgiveness and understanding to it. He, Han Solo, is not a Force ghost in the classic sense and his part of a vision or dream-type moment induced by Luke Skywalker. We don't have it all. No one source gave me a complete picture. So it is easy to pull these pieces together and think we have the sequence. Uh, so 
let's go that again so it is easy to pull these pieces together and think we have the sequence and we might but i can't say 100 percent that's how it plays out I can't say if Anakin or Leah or anyone else is involved because I don't know. If one of the bullet, bulletproof points uh, above is, inac is inaccurate, it could change the meaning of the entire sequence. But one thing several sources agree on is that Harrison Ford filmed a new sequence for The Rise of Skywalker. Goes on a little bit more in terms of speculation. If I had to guess, I could see the sequence playing out where Kylo needs that extra push of evil and tries to use the Darth Vader helmet to get there. Instead, Luke Skywalker intervenes and brings Han Solo from the Neverworld into Kylo's vision, where where his father lets him know it is never too late to return to the good side and he is forgiven. Maybe this is the moment Ben Solo returns to the light. Uh, and it goes a little bit more about The Force Awakens, but I don't really think that's relevant. For being back, I'm, in, I'm excited to have Harrison Ford back in a, a Star Wars film. I remember writing the story on Han Solo and Kylo Ren in which the Jedi killer silences the conversation forever and we never see Han Solo again in Star Wars The Force Awakens. We figured he was dead in that moment, and it was what happened. Now here we are at the tail end of a trilogy, and he's back in a way. So, Han Solo, Harrison Ford, returning to Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, along with, as we know, Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, being brought, uh, brought back through sequences that she filmed for The Force Awakens, um, despite the fact that she has passed on in real life. And uh, Ian McDermott is back as uh, also Palpatine. Uh, he's back in Rise of Wars. So um, this is like Star Wars' greatest hits. I have to say, everybody seems to be coming back in The Rise of Skywalker. And I suppose in one way it's a good thing because it does help to close the arc, if you like, between uh, the side. It would be nice to just hear something about a couple of prequel characters being brought back as well, wouldn't it? It would be nice to uh, square that circle, perhaps, and uh, maybe include a couple of characters that we haven't seen since the prequels. Maybe Jar Jar Binks could come back. Maybe we could return to Naboo and find that Jar Jar has become the ruler of uh, Naboo or something like that. Or maybe that's a bit too far-fetched. It'd be quite nice to bring back a couple of pre characters. I, I think if you bring back all these original legacy characters. But anyway, coming back to, um, to uh, Harrison Ford and Han Solo returning... So in a way, it's a good thing that they are trying to square the circle. But I think what this does tell us is that um, this is very much a repair job. I think they are fighting fires all over the place, really, uh, with, uh, with trying to deal with the story as it is from The Force Awakens and from The Last Jedi as well. So uh, as we leave off in The Last Jedi, there is very little to entice anybody to want to see episode nine. I mean, um, Luke Skywalker is killed off at the end of The Last Jedi, Han Solo is killed off uh, in The Force Awakens, and it wasn't anybody at Disney or Lucasfilm Limited's fault. But um, Carrie Fisher has passed away in real life, so we know that her involvement in Episode 9, although she's going to be involved to some degree, but we know it's going to be a very limited involvement because she's just not around to shoot new sequences. And so, as we leave off with The Last Jedi, there's very, very little to want to entice an audience back, and clearly they're trying to square that circle uh, of bringing back the audience after... Uh, the way that the two films leading up to episode nine have gone so very badly wrong. So in a way, having to bring back Harrison Ford, uh, I think is a signal of just how uh, how poor um, the, uh, the sequel trilogy has been up to this point, that they would need to do that. Ideally, as we lose Han Solo, that would be the end of Han Solo, uh, really. I mean, he's not a Jedi, so there's no... Uh, reason that he could come back from the Neverworld as a ghost. Uh, what appears to be going on is that Luke is going to create some sort of vision uh, for Ben Solo to be able to uh, speak to his father again. 
Um, which I suppose it's okay in a way, but it does sound rather contrived, doesn't it? It does sound like they are just very, very desperate to bring back Han Solo after they've killed him off um, and bring Harrison back. Uh, and they're just contriving up various ways to be able to do it. Um, I would have, have, have thought, if this is right, that it won't only involve... Uh, Harrison Ford and Adam Driver. I will think Mark Hamill will have an interaction with uh, with Harrison Ford in this scene as well. So one of Mark's big complaints about um, the sequel trilogy is that he never got a chance to film a scene with Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher himself, the three of them, uh, together. That is a failure of J.J. Abrams. That is a failure of The Force Awakens. It looks like J.J. Abrams is trying to go somewhere anyway to write that uh, particular failure of The Force Awakens. Uh, of course, it can't be completely uh, made right because Carrie has passed away, so you never get the three of them back together. But I think, I would guess, the primary re um, reason for this scene is to try and give Mark and Harrison that scene that Mark Hallow has been... Uh, calling out for, set, uh, has been saying that uh, he's so upset that he never got to do it. So Adam Driver will be included as like the third part of the uh, of the scene. But I, I've got a feeling this will bring back Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill, will bring back Luke Skywalker and Han Solo into a, a scene where they can interact uh, with one another. Which will be quite special to see. It'll be quite nice to see. We know that um, Mark and Carrie got a nice scene at the end of The Last Jedi. One of the few nice scenes that uh, Mark Hamill and his character Luke Skywalker had in The Last Jedi actually was that little moment uh, between Luke and Leah where he tells her that, um, what was it, no one is ever really gone. It was a nice moment, particularly in light of what happened uh, to Carrie um, after she filmed uh, the, the Last Jedi. So it, it was a nice moment that they shared. Um, and I think they're going to try and do something like that with Mark and Harrison. And also we'll have Adam Driver in the scene uh, as well. But in a way, this is a sign of the, way, of the failure of the sequel trilogy up to this point. The fact that they have got to bring back Harrison Ford uh, to get give him a scene with um, Mark Hamill. Uh, I mean... This should have happened in The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens should have brought back the big three, Han, Luke, and Leah. It should have sent them on one final adventure. Uh, as Mark has said, um, Han, uh, uh, Luke, and Leah should have been there to witness uh, the death of Han Solo so that you would have people who actually have a relationship with him rather than people who have only known him for a few minutes uh, interacting uh at the point of his death. Um, so this is all kind of like fighting fires, really, I think, uh, in terms of the failure of the sequel trilogy up to this point. They are trying to entice the audience back by bringing back legacy characters. But one thing I would say, though, is that Palpatine is a, is a little bit different because I think Palpatine's return probably goes back to George Lucas's original uh, story treatments for this sequel trilogy. I think Palpatine would have featured from the Neville. I did the video about this. I think it was on Thursday night, maybe Friday night, saying how I think Palpatine will be coming back and it'll be from the Neverworld. Um, so, uh, and it's interesting that the Neverworld is mentioned in this article as well, in terms of Han Solo's uh, return. Um, so, as I said in that video that I released the other night, um, the uh, George Lucas concept of the sequel trilogy was that it was going to be very much ethereal, ethereal, uh, this sequel trilogy. Uh, so it would exist. And Mark Hamill said something in 1983 about it existing on another plane of reality, much more spiritual, um, much more avant-garde, I suppose, in terms of its storytelling compared to either the classics or um, the prequels. And I think this is trying to go closer towards George Lucas's vision. And so Palpatine coming back probably goes all the way back to George's original idea for the sequel trilogy. But bringing back Han Solo, I think, is just a sign of desperation, really. It's trying to fight the fires that were lit in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. It's trying to give something to entice the fans back. And uh, I suspect that... Um, 
we could see a couple more legacy characters uh, being brought back at some point. As I said, quite nice to see one or two from the prequels as well, I think, just to help close that circle. Or maybe go to a couple of prequel uh, planets, maybe go to Naboo. I'd like to see Coruscant uh, one final time in a Star Wars saga film as well. So I think that would be nice. Maybe Mustafa will come back, the birthplace of Darth Vader. Uh, maybe we'll see Mustafa coming back. Um, and that would just help to sort of bring uh, the arc full circle from the prequels to the classics to the end of the sequels. But it appears Harrison Ford and Han Solo is back. It looks like uh, Adam Driver will be involved in the scene, possibly Mark Hamill as well, giving Harrison and Mark that long-awaited scene that certainly Mark Hamill has always wanted to see. But what do you think? about this do you think it's uh it's a great idea to bring han solo back are uh, you looking forward to seeing harrison returning for at least one scene in uh, the rise of skywalker or do you think it's a sign of desperation and uh again do you think it's a sign uh, that uh, so much has gone wrong with the secret trilogy but have, that they have painted themselves into this corner and they're looking for ways to entice the audience back and is it basically a sign of failure let me know what you think please like share and subscribe we'll be back with new star wars content very soon thanks for watching